Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for June 24th to uh, June 30th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a, a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we are to jump straight away to the reading. So the first card which represents the topic for a Taurus week, that is going to be the Three of Pentacles. Followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that Taurus needs to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. Third card that we have for you guys is going to be the positive aspect of the week and we do have the Lover's card for what it seems. And the last one which stands for the guidance that Tarot has for you. Is going to be the six of uh, cups All right so once again uh, three of Pentacles it is the first card which stands for the topic followed by the ten swords which is the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week afterwards it is the uh, lovers card which is the positive aspect and the final one is going to be the um, six of cups which stands for the guidance all right, Taurus, uh, <clears throat> this week there are going to be quite of a turn of events, uh, especially in a field of your life where things aren't working out very well, despite, you know, your efforts, guys. And uh, that is uh, because uh, you lack experience. OK, so what in whatever field that you do lack an experience in, things aren't working out very well. This is where that reading takes place. And so what is going to happen here? It seems that... <clears throat> you're going to receive a help and support throughout your development, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. There are to be people who are going to criticize you. That is displayed here with the first card, Three of Pentacles. These critics that you're going to get are not um, ill-meant critics, all right? Those critics are meant to wake, to wake you up. So you can see, you know, in reality, uh, what is the thing that you are doing wrong, or if it is not something that you do wrong, there is something that you aren't doing, all right? You are not taking either advantage of it, or you are overlooking to a, a greatest extent. So this week is going to be dappled and saturated with a lot of meaningful conversations, cooperations as well, and in generally uh, <clears throat> a support through your development. It's not excluded as well that you're trying to uh, push on a, um, let's say, you know, a project or an undertaking that is quite of a challenging one for the, for the uh, reason being that, like I said, you lack an experience and someone steps out or a society steps out and help you through it, but it's just, you know, their approach is going to be a little bit more rough than a um, than the approach that you would uh, prefer to. The accompanied card here, that is to be the King of Pentacles. 
So the formation, it is a uh, passive supporters that we have. And with the King of Pentacles, it seems that this support that comes around is not going to be a charity at all. You know, I mean, the people that are going to support you, I'm saying people because the King of Pentacles does not mean necessarily a person, you know, that could be all of your colleagues, for example, you may attend to a, a project and the success of the company can depend on this project. And as you are really struggling with it, everybody is uh, rushed to help you. It could be that, right? <clears throat> So this ain't going to be charity. As a matter of fact, their benefits and their success depends on your, um, on your success and on your, and on a, um, how, how can I describe it? A, a um, positive outcome of, uh, of your undertaking. Uh, for that reason, every connection probably that you do have is going to jump in and help you. Every friend that you do have is going to jump in to help and help you as well. And together, you know, uh, it seems that you are going to mark a, a very successful outcome and ending to the undertaking that you are trying to develop, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. You know, that could be as well your husband, for example, who sees how much you struggle to make the kids, you know, I didn't finish their homework every evening and so he steps in and um, tells you that you're doing it wrong. I mean, you're pushing them in the wrong way to do uh, their homework. So he steps in and helps you with it. And finally, you know, everybody is happy. Your kids have their homework. You are happy because they have their homework. Your husband is happy that their homework, that, that they have their homework done. And we do have one happy family. Now, <clears throat> These are just an example, guys. Examples. Now, the next card that we do have is going to be the uh, challenges that you need to overcome, and that is to be the Ten of Swords. So the Ten, the Ten of Swords, into correlation to the Tree of uh, to the Tree of Pentacles, it is that this. Um, how can I describe it? This. Uh, these critics that you are to face are going to be a, a little bit rough and more rough than the, than they need to be uh, in reality. And at some point they can really insult you, not with a mental cruelty, meaning that you're not going to be insulted by words, all right? But more like it seems that you're going to be insulted that people doesn't have much faith in you, okay? So um, that could be something as a prerequisite that you need to think of which could be which could reflect your mood additionally to that uh, the challenge here is going to be the acknowledgement as well that you will have to change something with your strategy you know and with your approach as well another example of it is let's say you're trying to catch up that woman which you are very enthralled with you want to spend time with her but it seems that she she isn't really responding to your messages she, she is avoiding you and so on and so forth and so friend of hers is actually telling you that you know you're doing the things wrong i mean you're doing things that that woman dislikes a lot and you know and she's telling that in a very rough fashion so you may kind of like feel yourself rather insulted of it but that hasn't changed the fact that you have to change your strategy so this is how the ten of swords talks here and how it stands the accompanied card that is to be the magician and we're definitely talking about changing of strategies the the uh, formation here is in an active supporters that we do have and uh, yeah I mean you have to start acknowledging the personal sovereignty of everybody around you and as well that everybody have their own opinions and their own goals as well but you also need to acknowledge that the differences that you do have with other people are also what makes you special to one another as well. Additionally to that these couple of cards as a changing of strategies are um, also speaking about uh, communication or um, taking it's not like taking advantage of the communication but allowing the communication to help you meaning to really listen to the critics that you are to um, digest <laughs> throughout uh, throughout the week because those critics are really not ill meant I mean they are only th their intention is to make you more successful as you are right now so the next card that we go to, it is the positive aspect of the week, Taurus, and that is to be the lover's card. So something completely out of the topic here, the lovers may speak for a little bit of a flirting or a, a big amount of flirting. Now it does depend how much time you have to go out, you know, it does depend how much... Um, 
how introvert you are because for example i'm quite introvert i don't meet new people or if i meet new people i'm rather a bit closed at the start so i don't engage into conversations and so on and so forth so if i was taurus this card i mean the flirting it wouldn't make much sense to me or it wouldn't apply with that great extent but if you are a person of socialization you know and you like to empathize with other people then it seems that you do have a pretty good chances to flirt and who knows probably to um, make suitors and to you know to have good good time with them and as well probably a relationship moving forward into the future but uh, on a, a more deeper um, look at the lovers card it does point that there are gonna be a lot of harmony established in between you and the environment as well throughout the critics and throughout the uh, the help and the support that you are to receive from uh, from these people. So only thing that you need to do here is really listen for what it seems. And additionally to that, the lower city, a very big sign, guys that uh, a lot of your issues, which are rather trifles, are going to be resolved. Trifles or not, you know, it is better to have trifles resolved rather than no uh, issues at all resolved. The accompanied card here is going to be the Seven of Cups. So the formation, it is a active neutrals that we do have. And the harmony itself, it does look like that you are to uh, accomplish either into your career or either into your relationship is going to save you from a lot of disappointments going down the road for what it seems. And also these cards are pointing that you are to restrain yourself going ahead of yourself. I know that a lot of us are doing so but that is not going to be your case. It does look like that these critics that you're going to get throughout the week and this, uh, you know, I don't know, it's, it's, it's something like a, a, a guidance that these people are going to divulge to you are going to be quite a, a wake-up call and probably you're going to hold down your horses a little bit, not making any stupid irrational actions and as well, you know, not getting, like I said, ahead of oneself. And the final card that we do have for you, Taurus, that is to be the Six of Cups, which speaks for the guidance that you are, um, well, that it is beneficial for you to follow. So uh, guidance wise, the Six of Cups uh, urges you to accept the creativity. What I mean is that um, there is a, a way how even through critics, uh, people tells you what you have to do, you may disapprove that thing that you do have. Uh, it's very difficult to explain. So, okay, so, you know, they, someone criticize you of an, an, a strategy or approach that you do take and they divulge a new strategy. Of course, at the start, you may not like it because it's gonna be something completely alien for you. But the Six of Cups here points that there is a way how you can make it pleasant, all right? How you can make the whole process of this, of the initiation and the implication of this strategy strategy quite pleasant and actually exhilarating when it comes to the Six of Cups. Now, if it comes to associating yourself with people, then that card points that you need to associate yourself with those who do have physical and emotional connections as well. You know, especially strong card for if you are single, it really uh, does speak that you may meet someone or start associating yourself with someone that is there going to be a chemistry in between you two, which speaks for emotional and physical connection on its initial state. And the uh, final card that we do have, that is to be the Page of Pentacles here, Formation. It is a, a passive friends that we do have. And we definitely talk about someone that you're going to have physical and emotional connection with Taurus. So yeah, I, I could urge you here, and you know that person as a matter of fact that, that we're looking at, because with the Page of Pentacles, it seems that that is either a friend or a common owner of yours. So uh, yeah, I, I encourage you, if you are single, if you are feeling quite lonely, you know to go out and start you know seeing with the people that you do know seeing each other and see which one you actually have a good time with and which one you have that uh, this emotional and physical connection meaning chemistry is going to stand out so that being said Taurus this was your weekly tarot reading guys for um, June 24th to June 30th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and I uh, hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.